Several of you have asked how to embed a video from YouTube into Moodle, so I'm going to show you just now. I've chosen this really cute little puppy that's squealing, which is incredibly sweet to put onto Moodle. So what you have to do is you have to go to this area here where it says embed. Now if you right click on that and copy that, then if you minimize this and go on to your course, I'm just putting it into this math course, so that'll be really funny for the guys if they ever uh, come on to this. So I'm going to put it into this block here. This block is uh, just an ordinary block. You can put it in a variety of ways, but I'll show you what happens when we put it in here. So if you go to the little hand here and click on it, you come to this page here. So we're going to put the code that we found on the YouTube site there and we're going to right click and paste it into here. Now we do something which seems a bit absurd but it seems to work. So if we delete that, then go up to this little bit here which is the toggle HTML source and click on that, we get these strange symbols here. So I'm just going to take that out there and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to put these little paragraph symbols on both ends if they don't exist already and I'm going to save the changes and we'll see what happens. It sometimes it takes a little minute for it to uh, load up. That wasn't too bad. Well, mind you, it's not. Yeah, here it is. So there is the little dog howling on the engineer's math site there. And if you just click on it, like you would do in YouTube. Oh, so cute. If you just click on it as you would in YouTube, sometimes it needs twice for you to do uh, to get it to work. Now, it might be a wee bit too big for you. Maybe you want it to be a smaller video. Uh, it's taking up quite a lot of space there. So if you go into the summary again here, and you'll see that it's now actually in this format, but we want it to be back in the HTML code. So we go like this, and these are the width and the height. So say we make it round about 300 by 200, and save the changes. We'll have a smaller film. Again, you just have to wait for a wee minute till it comes up. So we've made the film a little bit smaller, so it makes it more manageable. So anyway, I hope uh, this has been okay to show you how to do that. If you've got any questions, just contact me, uh, Liz Vellis, and I'm on 5237. Thank you very much.